Hey everyone, welcome back to Trainer Mark, the channel where we open Pokemon cards together. My name is Mark, and today I have a brand new Tag Team Powers collection to open up for you guys. This just came out, and it features a whole bunch of booster packs, as well as some really cool Tag Team promos that we have not seen yet in the US. So very excited to open this up. Here's kind of a zoom out shot of what the whole product looks like, and I'm going to bring us back in once we open it up and look at the booster packs and the promo. So there's a shot of the product. Note that there are two variants of this. They're exactly the same, but the only difference between the two is the oversized promo. So if you get the Espeon version, you'll get the Espeon and Deoxys GX oversized promo, as you can see here. And also the other one, which is a jumbo version of the Umbreon and Darkrai GX, which actually comes in a regular size in this box, but the oversize is different. I'll be opening that box up uh, next, actually. So stay tuned for that. Let's bring the camera back in as we look at the packs and the products that come in each of these. So thank you for bearing with me as I place the camera down. All right, cool. So once again, we have the brand new Tag Team Powers Collection box. Costs $49.99 retail, and it comes with what looks like eight packs, four regular size promo and promos and one oversized promo. So. A lot of goodies to open up today, guys, so thank you so much for watching, and uh, please subscribe to this channel, Trainer Mark, for more Pokemon TCG releases, and like this video if you're enjoying it. All right, let's jump into the opening, guys, and I'll show you guys these promos in great detail. So hold on a second as I open up this ginormous box. So a lot of the promos that we actually see in this particular product have been unreleased in the US and they were part of the Japanese Tag All-Stars set, which still actually has a bunch of cards that we don't have in the States, but hopefully they'll be releasing those soon. I think there's word of a premium collection that's coming out later this year of um, a big collection that has all those, um, all those promo cards that we haven't seen yet. So there's the product in the plastic. Uh, let me show you guys actually the back of the box real quick. I'll just show you guys the whole thing usually. So we're gonna bring it back out again real quick just so you guys can see what the back of the box looks like. There we go. Nothing too special, but we have some cool box art on the back, which is nice. All right, let's bring it back in. So here we go. Really, really nice collection. Let's take off plastic on the top here and start getting to the promos if I can manage that so it's nice to see some tag team era stuff again because I've definitely been missing just tag team cards in general because they just look so cool give me a second to take out the promos for you guys oh there's more promos on the back give me one second look look at this the back side of the product has additional promos. That's really, really weird. I've never seen that before in my life. All my years of collecting Pokemon cards, I've never seen promos be put on the back like that. Here's our first promo from the back side there. We have a Reggie Gigas, kind of random, but a cool card nonetheless. A Black Star promo. And the hollow foil pattern is Galaxy, which means it has those little circles which is pretty cool. Um, so there we go. That's quite a move there with all these different energies. So we'll set that aside for now. Let me show you guys the next promo here. There's three extra promos on the back, which is very, very interesting. Once again, I've not seen, I'm trying to be careful with them. Here's our next promo. We have a Leafeon, also kind of random, but cool. And this is another uh, Black Star promo. I'm not sure if these have been released already. They might have. So these might be old promos. And weirdly enough, this promo is not holographic at all. It's a non holographic Black Star promo. SM237 is its number. Very nice artwork though. And then there's one more promo actually on the back. Another Evolution for your consideration. And that promo is. Bear with me here. Another non-holo Black Star promo, Glaceon. Very nice artwork once again. SM238. So I have a hunch these might be old Black Star promos, but I could be wrong. 
I don't think I've seen these cards before, but very nice. Non-holographic Glaceon Black Star promo. And let's move on to our main promos now. So our first main promo that's displayed on the front of this box is the really, really amazing Espeon, excuse me, Espeon and Deoxys GX Tag Team. And this is a card I have been waiting for for a long time. This has been a Japanese exclusive in Tag All-Stars, like I said earlier, but now we finally can get this card in this really cool collection. And I just love the artwork on this card. It's amazing to see Espeon and Deoxys in kind of a scene together. But here's our first promo and the oversized card in this collection is the same as this promo, which is also very nice. I actually might display that one for once. I usually don't like oversizes too much, but this artwork is just too amazing. And it is textured, which is another plus. So very, very nice card. Espeon and Deoxys GX Tag Team Promo. And just a heads up, if you're looking to get this product, some of the centering on the cards can be off. So definitely check in the window to see if you got a centered card before you purchase in case you care about that kind of stuff. Uh, let me show you guys the last two promos. Uh, I'm gonna try to get them out. <laughs> They're really stuck in there. So give me a second, there we go. Our next promo is a Caracosta GX. See the, uh, notice how the centering is really, really off on this card, so. Um, definitely look out for that. Caracosta GX, regular art, even though it's a promo. So this one is not textured, but it is fully holographic. And our final promo is another really nice one, actually. And this one is... Am I missing? A I think I'm missing one more. Sorry, just two more promos. The other one displayed on the front is the Umbreon and Dark Ride GX Tag Team, which was also in Tag All Star. So we have not seen this card in the US. Once again, it's textured, fully holographic, very, very nice card. And the other variant of this uh, collection actually has an oversized card of this artwork for Umbreon and Dark Ride instead of the Espeon Deoxys. I'll be opening that up uh, in another video very soon. So there's our other promo. And our last promo, the fourth one that's displayed on the front, is also another very nice card. It is a Full Art EV GX. A Black Star promo SM242. Also textured and fully holographic. Very, very nice Full Art EV card. A little cherry on top for the main promos that are displayed on the front of this collection. Yeah, so those other three promos the Leafeon, Glaceon, and Regigigas are pretty random, but um, that's kind of how these boxes go sometimes, so I'm not entirely surprised. But it's nice that they give you a little bit of extra. So let's take out the packs real quick, and I'll show you guys the oversized, and then we'll jump into the packs, the eight packs. All right, so here's the oversized card. Very, very nice. As expected, it is a great oversized card of the Espeon and Deoxys GX promo that we just saw in big form. And I like it a lot. Wow. It's a great looking card. And uh, this is one of the two variants, once again, that you can get. So we'll set that aside. And why don't we take a look at our packs today? we got a huge variety. Um, of course, you know, variety meaning that we always get one of these. That's nothing new. But we also have a Sun and Moon Celestial Storm. We have a Sun and Moon base set. Let's actually put that right there. And then we have Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. We have two Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipses, which is very good. And then two Sword and Shield packs. So a lot going on in today's opening. It's like spanning the entire Sun and Moon era and a little bit more. So why don't we get started on these packs and maybe we'll pull something good. We've had a kind of bad luck streak lately with these uh, products, but maybe today we'll change that. So why don't we get started, of course, with the X and Y evolutions, which has still found its way in these new products, but that's okay. And see what we get. Thanks so much again for watching. Why don't we get started? We got a Rattata, Growlithe, Nidoran, Vulpix, cards are sticking together, don't want to miss any, oh these cards are actually just stuck, Sandshrew, 
Nice, we got a reverse hollow rare Hitmonchan, and this card is usually a hollow rare, rare, so that's a nice pull. And our rare for the pack is nice! We got a hollow rare Raichu, the first time I think I've seen this card and pulled this card. Very, very nice hollow rare from Evolutions, a Raichu holographic. Big fan of that card, so we'll set that aside for our recap pile. Finish off the pack here, we got a Haunter, Energy Retrieval. And a Kakuna. Here's the code card for you guys. So that's a pretty good start. We already got a Hollow Rare, a lot better than the packs we've been opening recently. But even if we don't get anything too amazing in this collection, at least we get those really cool promos that every collection guarantees. So that's nice. Uh, we're going to move on to our... Which pack was this? I'm sorry. Sun and Moon base set. We got a Snubble. Sandile, Picky Peck, Carvana, Togedemaru. Our reverse hollow is a uncommon, an uncommon Steenie. Nice card. And our rare for the fact is a non-holographic rare lantern. I love this particular Pokemon, so I'm very happy with this pull. Non-hollow rare lantern. Very nice artwork there. Alolan Raticate, not as big of a fan. Of that one, Dartrix, and a Great Ball. We are struggling with those Sun and Moon base set packs. I don't think we pulled anything too amazing from those ever. Let's move on to Celestial Storm. So both Celestial Storm and Lost Thunder are packs I actually don't know that much about. Um, or at least I haven't purchased a lot of them in the past. So maybe we'll get a pleasant surprise in one of these packs. All right, here we go. Celestial Storm, we got a Shuppet. Sneasel, that's some classic artwork there. Wismer, Mudkip, Dot. Our reverse hollow is a common Onyx. Nice, and our rare is, nice! We got a full Art Bills Maintenance, sorry if that was really loud through your earbuds or your earphones. Um, we got a full art bills maintenance. Very, very nice pull. I'm loving the artwork on this card. I don't think I've seen this in a long time. And our first really good pull from Celestial Storm. Loving this card. Bills maintenance full art trainer. Beautiful card. Some nice textures and holographic patterns. Bills maintenance full art supporter. Very, very nice pull. Very happy with that. And, I mean, Bill's just a classic character, so. Anything first-gen Kanto-related is, is nice. That's a really nice illustration. Minun, or Minun, Copycat, and our code. It seems like a lot of Celestial Storm was based on first-gen, which is pretty cool. Copycat, I believe, is a first-gen reference as well, but it's been a long time, so I'm not sure. If I got that right. Here's Lost Thunder. We got Mareep, Fampi, Ninkata, Meryl, Wurmple. Our reverse hollow is an uncommon skip loon. Skip loom, excuse me. Then M. And our rare is another non-holographic rare lantern. What are the chances of that? Pax must have heard me when I said I'm a big fan of lantern. Kecleon, Sightseer, and our code card. That full art bill trainer might be our best pull for this collection, but we still have four more packs, guys, so maybe we can manage another awesome pull from one of these uh, more recent sets. Only one way to find out is to open up these packs here. We're moving on to our two packs of Cosmic Eclipse. And I believe we're still missing a couple cards from this set, so exciting moment here. Pikachu, Teddy Ursa, Nose Pass. Our reverse hollow is a draw energy, uncommon. And our rare is a non holographic rare Credilly. So nothing there. And there's Lilip, Rotom, Erica. And here's our code for Cosmic Eclipse. We still got one more Cosmic Eclipse pack, and then we'll move on to those last two 
sword and shield packs. See if we can get some glitter in today's video. Why don't we move on here? All right, first card, we got Trap Pinch, Oddish, Rufflet, Piplup, oof, stuck, Alolan Vulpix, our Reverse Hollow, right? Yes, our Reverse Hollow is a Ponyard common card, and our rare is, oh my gosh, yes, I've been wanting this card for such a long time. We got another full art trainer, guys. We got Mallow and Lana, tag team full art trainer supporter card. Wow, this is an awesome collection that we chose, guys. This is an amazing pull. Not only our second full art trainer, but one that we have not seen yet and pulled on this channel. So very, very exciting to pull this card from Cosmic Eclipse despite opening so much of them or so many of those packs. We finally got a card that we have not seen yet, the Full Art Mallow and Lana Tag Team Trainer. This is an exciting collection. We've got some awesome cards to recap, guys. This is such a pleasant surprise to see a new Hyper Rare card from Cosmic Eclipse. Trainer, Mallow, and Lana Tag Team. Very, very nice. I think the only one we might be missing now is the um the cynthia and caitlin tag team trainer full art and that is still an elusive card but this one is very very nice super happy with this pull really nice card wow we will oh amazing we pulled the regular art of it too in our same very same pack mallow and lana tag team oh i don't have this one actually either uh, we haven't pulled the professor oak setup full art pyroar Wow, that was exhilarating to pull so many cool full art trainers. Let's move on to our last two packs of Sword and Shield. I think we're already really happy with what we pulled in this uh, Powers collection. But who knows what we pull in these last two packs. Let's get started here. Wooloo, Shelder, Crow Gunk, Silicobra. Oops, sorry. Mancino, our reverse hollow is a common silicobra. And our rare is a non-holographic rare Rillaboom. Okay, thought we got something there for a second. Water energy, Rotom Bike, Drizzile, by Sharp, or Bisharp. There's your code. We're down to our last pack here of Sword and Shield. Thank you so much again for joining in on this video and watching this opening. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel, Trainer Mark, for more Pokemon content. Let's see if we get some last pack magic, guys. We got a Ghastly, Ponyard, Sizzlipede, Yemper, our reverse, oh, sorry, not yet, Clobopus, getting too excited. Our reverse hollow is a rare cloister. Very nice. Always nice to pull a reverse hollow rare. And our last rare for today's opening is we got something we got a lapras v regular r very very nice pull there to end us on a high note we've pulled many of these already but still very nice to pull a v pokemon for our last pack rare candy lucky egg and man time we already pulled a lot of good stuff actually in this sword and shield set please check out those videos if you haven't already and why don't we move on to the recap of today's pulls, guys. We got a lot of awesome stuff in our eight packs. Our first nice pull of the day was a holographic rare Raichu from X and Y Evolutions. Very nice card. Our second pull was a Lapras V from Sword and Shield in our very last pack, which was really fun. And we pulled some awesome full art trainers today, guys. In Celestial Storm, we pulled a Bill's Maintenance full art card. Very, very nice. Very happy with this one. As you can see there, it's a nice card. And the highlight for me, for sure, I don't know about you guys, but was the full art Mallow and Lana tag team trainer card from Cosmic Eclipse. A card that we actually have not seen yet on this channel. So it's a new card for our collection. Very, very unexpected and a, such a pleasant surprise. 
All right, that'll do it for today's recap, guys. Thank you so much again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the Umbreon variant of this collection that I'll be posting real soon. Take care, stay healthy, and as always, peace out.